Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage for some introductory remarks the director of the Bronco Marching Band, Dr. David Montgomery. Thank you so much for joining us today on a wonderful Sunday afternoon. Uh, what you see today is the very, very best of West Michigan University. I'm convinced we have the hardest working, the smartest, and the best students on campus. I know you'll agree. We've had a great season so far, and we're excited to share that with you. As you can see from your program, we're going to play basically everything that we've done this season, from our reception songs and cheers that we played in the game, to our pregame music, and of course, our halftime music. So we want to thank you again for coming. Sit back and enjoy the show. The Bronco Band would like to perform a piece that has a long history here at Western Michigan University and is now played at every home pregame show. Go Western was written in early 1950 by then director of bands, Mr. Leonard Moretta. Mr. Moretta was the director of bands at WMU from 1945 to 1972. During that time and well after, he has always embodied the true spirit of Western. Although he is no longer with us, we know that he is here in spirit. Please welcome drum major Balanle Aruboja to conduct the band. Balanle is a senior majoring in finance and is from Ypsilanti, Michigan. This is her fifth year in the band and second as drum major. And now, go Western! stands cheer after the Broncos score extra points. Conducting the band is drum major Derek Keating. This is Derek's fifth year in the band and first as drum major. He is a senior music major and is from Charlotte, Michigan. energy, up-tempo funk hits. Trumpeter Bill Chase was an iconic lead trumpet player in the famous bands of Maynard Ferguson and Stan Kenton of the 1950s and 60s. Later, he went on to form his own jazz funk fusion band. We open the show with the Bill Chase standard, Open Up Wild. This arrangement features trumpet soloist Stephen Airgood and Ryan Sloan. Please welcome drum major Bridget Capel to conduct the band. Bridget is a senior majoring in vocal performance and film, video, and media studies. She is from Sterling Heights, Michigan. This is her fifth year in the band and second as drum major.
style incorporations on top of the traditional big band sound. Our next selection is the jazz funk inspired hit Jazz Police. Please welcome back drum major Balanle Arroja to conduct the band. Meyer and Stan Gustafson. Drum major Derek Eating conducts the band again. Thank you. 
At this time, Dr. Montgomery and the Bronco Band would like to say a special thank you to the president of Western Michigan University, Dr. John Dunn. President Dunn is a huge supporter of the Bronco Band, and we appreciate all that he does. The quality seen on stage today and throughout the entire season is possible in large part because of the support of the WMU administration. Next, we'd like to thank Director of Athletics, Kathy Beauregard, and all of her staff. The athletic department has continually been an avid supporter of the band, and we are thankful for all they do for us. We'd also like to thank head football coach P.J. Fleck, the staff, and the players of the football team for their support of the Bronco Band. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in showing our appreciation for all of these valuable supporters. For homecoming, we performed a show entitled Go West. Our show included music from the Western film The Magnificent Seven, the overture for Rossini's William Tell, and Copeland's old American standby, Hoda. Our next selection is the opener of the show and includes the music from The Magnificent Seven and William Tell. This arrangement features WMU twirler Jennifer Whipple, along with a cast of characters to remind us that in the Old West, you don't mess with the good guys. Please welcome drum major Mary Claire Reynolds to conduct the band. Mary Claire is a senior instrumental music education major. Her hometown is Chicago, Illinois. This is her fifth year in the Bronco Band and first as drum major. features the amazing WMU color guard and solo Stephen Airgood on trumpet. Please welcome back drum major Balanay Adorojo to conduct the band.
Dean of the College of Fine Arts, Dan Guyette, for his support and enthusiasm for the Bronco Marching Band. Dean Guyette is a big fan of the BME, and we are grateful for his support. We'd also like to say thank you to Professor Brad Long, the Director of the School of Music, for his faithful leadership and support of the band. Lastly, we offer a big thank you to Dr. Scott Gorma, Director of Bands, for all of his support this season. We appreciate everything each of you do, both seen and unseen, to help make the Bronco Band the best band in the map. One of our favorite songs from last season was City of Delusion by the band Muse. It was so successful, we thought we'd play it again this year too. This funky arrangement features trumpet solo Stephen Eargood and Amy Head. We also showcased our feature twirler, Jennifer Whipple. Please welcome drum major Jeremy Stevens to conduct the band. Jeremy is a junior majoring in instrumental music education. This is his third year in the band and first as drum major. He's from Peru, Illinois. and trumpet soloist Amy Head in this beautiful arrangement of Amazing Grace. Also featured are our senior color guard members with their beautiful visual presentation. Conducting is James Clark. James serves the band as senior assistant and is pursuing a degree in integrated supply management. This is his fifth year in the band and first as senior assistant. James is from Clinton Township, Michigan.
our next piece, we feature the WMU dance team and this hometown favorite, I've Got a Gal in Kalamazoo. We'd like to thank the dance team for all their hard work and everything they add to each and every game. Drum Major Derek Eving will be conducting the band.
many sections in the band that annually create their own section songs. These have become very popular among the students of the band, and we'd like to present a few of them today. We begin with our piccolo section. Please welcome section leaders Quinn O'Donnell and Rebecca Kane as they conduct our piccolos in this year's section song, All About That Bass. <laughs> have our clarinets. This year they've chosen Cantina Band as their song. Section leaders Deanna Phillips and Kathleen Wells will conduct. Saxophones. The altos and tenors have teamed up this year to create a new section song. Jeff Brewster from the altos will be conducting in this hip arrangement of Uptown Pokemon. Thank you. 
they created a fun arrangement entitled SpongeBob Medley. Section leader Mike Wessels will conduct. Thank you. 
section is the baritones. Section leader Chris Blair will conduct them in this year's song entitled Hooked on a Feeling.
tunes at Bronco football games as Hey Baby. Please join the tubas as they lead the Bronco band in this fun arrangement, and please feel free to sing along.
back with a third and long version. Wait, and there's a flag on the play.
hustling, a sea of chips. But the Broncos come up with the ball and the touchdown with no time left on the board. Touchdown, Broncos! Please welcome drum major Bridget Capel back to conduct the band.
Ladies and gentlemen, several of the students on stage are giving their final season and review performance with the Bronco Band today. They've all dedicated themselves to their time, commitment, and hard work. Many of them hold leadership positions in the band and will be greatly missed. At our final home game, we will recognize each one individually, but today, we recognize them collectively. Help us show our appreciation to our senior members as they stand to be recognized. concludes with music from the main theme from the music Robin Hood. This exciting arrangement showcases the power and energy of the Bronco Band, and we know you're going to enjoy it. Drum Major Mary Claire Reynolds is back to conduct the band. Dr. Montgomery back to the stage as we recognize this year's staff members and for some final thoughts. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, kind of tough to top that one. It's exciting. Um, we have a, a big group of folks that you've seen today, and, and all of this happens with the work of a lot of hard, hard work for a lot of people. I want to spend just a few minutes to recognize those that make it happen. Uh, I'm going to start with introducing a uh, staff. From, that are in the, in the band, I'd like you to just hold your applause if you can to the very end of that. Uh, first group I want to introduce uh, are section leaders. I'll have them stand now. Uh, these folks are the ones that really make all the musical things happen for us. I mean, everything that you heard today and that you would hear on a typical game day really is their work that you're hearing do that. We spent a lot of time in sectionals where memorization is done and learning of the parts, and I really couldn't do it without them. The, the next group I'll introduce are our drill instructors, and I'll have them stand. Anything that you see us do, whether it's marching on the field itself or any sort of visual thing that happens with an instrument or a motion in the stands, it's their creativity and their hard work that make that happen. 
Uh, we have several students in the band that have non-teaching rules, but they're also really, really important to make uh, the operational side of our, of our ensemble work. I want to have them stand our uniform staff. Have a very busy uniform staff, keeps us looking good, uh, deals with things that go wrong, hemming, and buttons that fall off, makes that happen. Um, we also have a game day staff that helps us with the logistics of uh, moving equipment onto the stadium and out of the stadium on a game day. We have an attendance staff, a librarian, actually a community service staff. The Bronco Band is involved pretty heavily in the community. We've done lots of important things this year. Uh, our community service staff makes that happen. We also have a public relations coordinator and, of course, a webmaster. So please help me thank all of our, our staff. Thank you. Uh, before I introduce our instructional staff, I'd like to, we started a tradition a few years ago about having uh, alumni that may be in the audience to come up on stage and join us uh, for the alma mater and the fight song. So if we can get the house lights to come up a little bit, and any alumni that are here today and comfortable coming up, I'd like to invite you to come right up on the sides and join us on stage as we wrap up the concert today. Um, as they're doing that, I'd like to introduce our instructional staff, really the guts and the brains behind the major operation that we do. And these folks are, are just really, really good at what they do. They have national and international reputations for their work, and I really couldn't do without them. I'd like to have um, our instructional staff come out. This is Ms. Kyle Kaiser, and I'd like to again hold your applause until the end. Kyle Kaiser, who does our visual and color guard work. Landon Ewell, who does our drumline, uh, writes the parks, coordinates all the drumline activities. <laughs> Uh, he's assisted by several folks at KC Spring. Unfortunately, Casey couldn't be here this afternoon, uh, but we appreciate his work. Kyle Gulao works with our bass drum, and Jennifer Pesch works with our cymbals. I'd like to also keep things going as we introduce our graduate assistants. We have four graduate assistants that help us not only with the marching band, but also with lots of behind the, the scenes things, in addition to running our pet band, the hockey and basketball. Um, Joe Lazito, Chet Aliga, Rob Ned. And Kirsten Keel, our graduate assistants this year. Thank you for what they do. We also have an administrative assistant who helps the band. Um, the, all the administrative things help me to keep the things running uh, seamlessly behind the scenes. I'd like to introduce uh, Mylon Bo to come out. A couple of more undergraduates that we have to work with the band. We have a senior assistant. You got to see him conduct a little bit earlier. Amazing grace. This young man helps uh, my line and myself uh, work with all the administrative things, whether it's band day or band camp, any of weight travel we might do, or bowl games that might happen. <laughs> James is coming out. We have a couple of other uh, senior assistants, or senior field assistants, we call them. Uh, they sort of wear both hats between teaching things and also helping with some administrative logistical things. Uh, Ethan Cummings and Anna Marshall are next. You've seen our drum majors a lot today. Uh, they primary job is conducting the band and performances, but they also do a significant amount of teaching during rehearsals. Uh, Bonle Adarocha, Bridget Capel, Derek Keezy, Mary Claire Reynolds, and Jeremy Stevens. <coughs> Next, I'd like to introduce our equipment coordinator. This guy is the one who really makes our rehearsals work. He handles all of the mechanics of our audio speaker system and we run our metronome and really Things go well because he's on top of things. I can introduce Eric Ross. We also have uh, a media staff that helps document the season, season, takes pictures for us, works with the season review concert uh, that we'll be producing at the end of the year. Um, not everyone that needs to be here, but I'd like to mention them. Uh, nonetheless, Ryan Nichols, Destiny Wells, Alex Flory, Tyler Hullock, and Anthony Muldoon, the media staff. Next, I want to recognize our feature twirler. You've seen her a little bit today. Uh, just getting started with us as a freshman and performing well behind her. We are very proud of the work and the effort and the, uh, the excellence that she provides for what we do, Jennifer Whipple. And uh, also want to say a big thank you to the voice of the, of the Bronco Band, Dr. Little's in the back of the auditorium tonight. He's the professor of voice here and does wonderful work. Thanks, Dr. Little. And finally, um, of course, I would have to, I would be remiss if I didn't thank and give my sincere gratitude to my wife and our kids for their support and patience with me as we go through another busy but successful fall. How about a round of applause for all of our kids?
you for attending the 2014 Bronco Marching Band Concert of Season in Review. We hope you enjoyed the many sounds of the Bronco Band.